Hey, good morning, WCAG Online. So glad to have you here with us on this Good Friday. Uh, this is your, your morning encouragement uh, from Watford City Assembly of God. Uh, my name is Pastor Dustin, youth pastor uh, here at WCAG. And again, like I said, it's, it's a great day, uh, a day to be joyful in, to celebrate. Uh, it's Easter weekend, and, and we as a body, as a church, know that Jesus is alive. Amen. Uh, this morning, I want to share with you guys my favorite, one of my favorite uh, passages of scripture, and it's the road to Emmaus. Uh, it's found in Luke chapter 24, starting in verse 13. And I'm just going to read it to you this morning. Uh, it, it's a little bit of a long scripture, but I, I know that you're going to find that it, it kind of applies to, to where we're at and, and what's going on. So I'm going to read it to you real quick here. It says, that same day, two of Jesus' followers were walking to a village of Emmaus, seven miles from Jerusalem. As they walked along, they were talking about everything that had happened. As they talked and discussed these things, Jesus himself suddenly came and began walking with them. But God kept them from recognizing him. He asked them, what are you discussing so intently as you walk along? They stopped short, sadness written across their face. Then one of them, Cleopas, replied, you must be the only person in Jerusalem who hasn't heard about the things that have happened uh, there la the last few days. I mean, who doesn't know about Corona, right? If you're ob oblivious to that, I mean, if Jesus showed up to us and said, hey, what is this so you're intently discussing? Because we've been intently discussing it, right? And we go, dude, are you out of your mind? Have you not paid attention to what's going on lately? Let's keep reading. So the things that happened to Jesus, the man from Nazareth, they said, he was a prophet who did powerful miracles. He was a mighty teacher in the eyes of God and all the people. But our leading priests and other re uh, religious leaders handed him over to be condemned to death. And they crucified him. We, lay, uh, we had hoped that he was the Messiah who had come to rescue Israel. This all happened three days ago. Then uh, some woman from our group of the follower, sorry, sent, uh, verse 22 then some women from our group of his followers were at his tomb early this morning and they came back with an amazing report. They said his body was missing and they had seen angels who told them that Jesus is alive. Some of our men ran out to see and sure enough, his body was gone just as the women had said. Then Jesus said to them, you foolish people, you find it so hard to believe all the prophets wrote in scripture. Wasn't it clearly pre, uh, predicted that the Messiah would have to suffer all these things before entering his glory? Then Jesus took them through uh, the writings of Moses and all the prophets, prophets explaining all the scriptures and the things concerning himself. By this time, they were nearing uh, Emmaus and the end of their journey. Jesus acted as if he was going on, but they begged him, stay the night with us since it is getting late. So he went home with them. As they sat down and ate, he took the bread and blessed it. He then broke it and gave it to them. Suddenly their eyes were opened and they recognized him. That moment he disappeared. They said to each other, didn't our hearts burn within us as he talked with us on the road and explained the scriptures to us? And within the hour, they were on their way back to Jerusalem. There they found the 11 disciples and the others who had gathered with them, who said, the Lord has really risen. He appeared to Peter. Man, I, I love that story. I love that passage of scripture as these two guys are walking along, bummed out because of what had happened to, to Jesus, the one that they had hoped was the Messiah. And, and as they're walking along, Jesus appears to them and is with them, right? Uh, the Bible says, Emmanuel, God with us. Jesus was literally with them. And, and so they're going along and, and they're just like, dude, do you not understand what's going on here? Have you not paid attention to what's happening? And as they get to the house, as they beg him to come, we don't have to beg Jesus to come with us, right? He's already here. He's with us always. That's his promise that he'll never leave us or forsake us. He's always with us. And, and he's here in our homes. He's here with us wherever we're at. This, this whole COVID-19 coronavirus that we're going through. Guys, everything that we talk about, everything that we mull over and continue to just, um, uh, just play over and over in our minds, God is not wanting us to focus on that, but to focus on Jesus, 
This weekend is a great way to focus on Jesus. Why? Because we understand Easter weekend, this is the time when Jesus died on the cross for our sins. But we know the truth. We know that Jesus is risen, that he is alive. And that's what we celebrate this Easter weekend, is that Jesus has risen and he's alive. He is seated uh, at the right hand of God, the, the honor, the seat of honor and glory. And so we just praise God. I, I love this story because of the hope that comes with it. When we're walking in life and we seem to be hopeless, Jesus is there and reminds us. And they didn't recognize him. And guys, right now, we may not even recognize that God is calling us, that he's beckoning our heart. And, and just as they said, didn't our hearts not burn when we were with him when we were walking? Does your heart not burn the last few weeks for what God has for you to be praying more, to be seeking his word, to be seeking his face? Has your heart not burned more for God? And if it has, it's time to have your eyes open. God, I pray that you would open their eyes to see you and all of your glory this morning. And may they have a heart of joy, a heart of blessing. Guys, no, no person or situation can steal your joy. It's yours to give up. So don't give it up because the Lord is your joy. He is your strength. He is the redeemer. Jesus is risen. It's a great weekend to celebrate the risen King and the Lord of Lords. Lord bless you guys this morning. Hope you have a great rest of your day and enjoy Easter weekend. Also, don't forget 7 a.m. We're going to have an Easter uh, sunrise communion service. 7 a.m. Come in your cars, bring your own communion elements. Uh, if you don't have juice, bring water. It's okay, but bring bread and we're going to take communion together. We're going to worship God at 7 a.m. Sunrise is at 7.09. Uh, can't wait to see you guys. Then at 9.15 on Facebook and 11.15 on YouTube uh, per the normal. But we're excited for what God has in store for us in this coming season. Even if it looks bleak. Even if it looks downcast just like it did for them when Jesus died on the cross. He is alive. He is our hope. He is our joy. Lord bless you guys this morning. We'll see you later.